My name is Roy Galloway. I'm the owner of the law office of Roy Galloway LLC. And today I, I want to talk to you about a question that I get from clients a lot. What are the laws, self-defense laws in the state of Pennsylvania? Traditional self-defense allows a person to use uh, force to protect himself or another person. And you can use the amount of force that you're threatened with. For example, if a person threatens you with, with their fist, you're not allowed under the law to use a, a firearm. But you are allowed to repel that attack with, maybe with your fist. So it has to be commensurate with the force that you're threatened with. Now, if you're threatened with deadly force, or you reasonably believe that you're threatened with deadly force, the law allows you, if it's reasonable, to use deadly force. And it could even be a mistaken belief. Perhaps it's dark outside. You believe that a person is armed, you don't see what's in their hand, they made a threat towards you, and you take force. While that might be a mistaken belief, if we look at it the next day, at that time, the jury is required to put themselves in your shoes at that exact time. They're not allowed to look back at the situation and exercise hindsight. So if it's a, a reasonable belief, it can be a mistaken belief. That's traditional self-defense. In other words, I've had a case like that, like that recently where a client believed that a person was armed because the person had threatened them, threatened them with violence, and ultimately had to use deadly force. And a jury came back and, and determined that although it was a mistaken belief, it was a reasonable one in light of all the circumstances at hand. That's the self-defense statute, but Pennsylvania just recently expanded something that's called the Castle Doctrine. And it pretty much says that deadly force is presumed necessary in three situations. One, if a person is in the process of entering your home, work, or occupy a vehicle. Two, if a person actually enters your home, occupy a vehicle, or work. Or three, if the person actually tries to unlawfully remove a person from the home and occupy a vehicle or your work. In those scenarios, the law presumes that daily force is presumed necessary. That's extremely important. Because if you find, that's an extremely important uh, law because if you find yourself charged, it presumes that daily force is necessary. And in the eyes of the law, it's not the defendant's burden to prove that they, they acted in self-defense. It's the Commonwealth's burden to prove that you didn't act in self-defense. So if you have a situation where the law presumes that you were reasonable and that your life were threatened, it's really important that you have a skilled lawyer to understand what the Castle Doctrine is. That's something rather new. It's kind of like Florida self-defense uh, self laws, the Stand Your Ground law. Uh, this is something that's a, a widespread trend. So you have several states that have adopted laws like that. Pennsylvania just recently adopted a law like that. It's very different. It makes it very hard for the prosecution because it's the prosecution's burden to prove that self-defense was not reasonable. Defendants have no burden of proof. So if you have a law that says that force is presumed reasonable, it makes it almost impossible for the Commonwealth to prove that the force wasn't reasonable. So that's a very, very powerful law. If you've been charged with a violent offense and you believe that you might have acted in self-defense, you need an experienced and aggressive attorney on your side to prove your innocence. Don't hesitate to call the law offices of Roy Galloway, LLC, at 717-737-3300. Thank you.